Hello, how are you? Well, I feel great. Hopefully, you do too. Well, well, well. How does my game Down Down Die look like since the last devlog one and a half months ago? Well, not very different to be honest. I mean, I added a new enemy, which is this robot here. Uh, but yeah, that's all. So why only so little? It's all about motivation, but let me first show you the little robot that I've made, since it is probably more interesting for most of you. This time, I was highly inspired by myself, because a few weeks ago I drew this picture in school, and I think I got my inspiration for this drawing from the movies Wally -E and Next Gen. Someone actually asked me how I draw my sprites. Well, I normally just get some inspiration from Pinterest or other games, like you should always do it when starting a creative project, and then I always make a little sketch with using the undo button a lot, and then I remove details and make the outlines much thicker. And like you would do it in pixel art, I also try to make the drawings more suggestive and less detailed. And in addition, I only use cell shading, which basically means no smooth gradients, to give it a cartoony feel, like I did it for this bed. It doesn't have any eyes or mouth and you still think it is a bed. Also there are no smooth shadows. So this time I didn't make a frame by frame animation, but a transformation based animation where I just move the limbs individually. This makes the whole thing more smooth and fitting for the whole hovering aesthetic. We can also see that for Eve and Wally. -E. And after the animation it was coding time. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea to make the robot actually hover through a constant upward force, which looks like this. Now, if there is an obstacle, the robot also jumps over it. And then the coolest part, which is the attacks. I figured two different attacks are fitting. So I made one where it shoots a big laser beam. This beam deals a whole lot of damage and pushes the robot back. It also has this nice impact effect with these little lightning symbols. And in the other attack, it transforms into a plane and uses its laser guns as rocket engines. Then it flies up and above the player to grill it. This overall makes up a very dynamic enemy, which is a lot of fun to fight. I mean, have a look at this fight scene. Okay, now the part about being motivated. I am normally really good at motivating myself, but this time something was very different. You see, I haven't added any kind of sound effects in the last three quarters of a year of development. Why you may ask? Well, I don't have a fucking clue. But about a month ago I tried it and I noticed it will take much more effort than I expected. I have to make sound effects on my own, I have to find free to use sounds in the internet and build a sound system and so much more. And then I was absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of tasks and I could not even make a to-do list in my head. And the one that I already had just got absolutely shattered. And from there on my whole motivation went yay. But no worries, the project is still here and I didn't quit it by any means. But I wasn't very motivated, that's all I wanted to say and I can already feel a lot of motivation coming back after deciding on a few things that I am about to mention. And by the way, a source of motivation is feedback and people that are interested in what you are doing. So thanks to every single person, of course, that decides to click on one of my videos, like it or even subscribe to me. Thanks. And a special thanks to those who leave nice comments with advice or ideas. It is so great to have a second perspective and I also have the goal of finishing my game pretty soon. I can't make a deadline, but at least another 3 months I guess. This is definitely doable, but I have to stay consistent from now on, and I'll have to spice up my daily life with a bit of crunch. And to do that I made a little discord server, it really isn't anything special, but if you want to communicate with a few people and me about our projects and everything else, what your heart desires, then you can join me. But don't expect a huge server, as I said. I will regularly post polls and little updates between my devlogs and other videos not about game design. And I also want to see what you are doing, so if you like the vibe of my channel then join me. Thanks, bye bye.